Okay, here we are again. We have a picture that's been made out of two layers. Before I animate it, um, it needs a frame and a filter. So what I've done is put it into Snapseed. I'm going to choose Tools. Filters that I like. I quite like um, Grainy Film. Uh, what this does is sort of blurs it a bit. Um, grainy film is a side effect of uh, the enlarging process so that's why it exists I quite like this one grunge so you can mess around with it but the one I usually like is um, texture strength oh, I'm losing the picture though there that's that's better Um, probably need to saturate it now. Um, now frames down here. Um, this one's all right. You can drag it closer to the edge. Okay, I now have a frame export, and I'm going to save a copy. Okay, next. I'm going to look for it in Motion Leap. So I want a new creation. You've got to make sure you look for the little X. Don't sign up to anything. New creation. It should automatically choose the most recent photo. Excellent. Okay, so um, animate is the function we want and the first thing you've got to do is freeze the areas you don't want to move so I don't want my bird to move just doing this roughly as a tutorial you can zoom in and get it um, quite fine looking um, if you don't do the edges right um, the moving paths will go through it and make it look weird. So anywhere that is orange now is not going to move. You can zoom right in if you want to do really fine work like this wing tip. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to do is create paths. So the paths is where the motion is going to happen. That'll do. It doesn't, you don't have to overdo it. And you can see what it's going to look like when it moves. Okay. Now, while we're here, you can add effects. So we can put a sky on. That's pretty cool. If you want to get rid of it, choose none. If there's a crown, that's a paid feature and you can't have it. If you're wondering why it won't save or export, you've probably automatically, sorry, accidentally um, selected a pay paid feature. Um, effects. I could put sparkles on it. I can turn them up and down. Um, you can change the direction of the smoke. You know what? That's pretty cool. That looks quite appropriate for a phoenix. Okay, if you don't like it, select none. Um, element. You can only select one of all of these. Probably the flame is the um, most appropriate for the phoenix. Yeah, I put it under there. That's looking pretty cool. Uh, how do I get out of here? No, don't do that. There it is. Bring it down the bottom. Alright, 
I'm pretty happy with that. Um, how do I get back out of here? There we are. Um, element overlay. Okay, this is where you can make it rain. You can add smoke. That might be quite appropriate. There we go. That's pretty phoenixy. Okay, now what I'm going to do is export it. Um, I want to save it as a video. I want to leave the um, the loop on six seconds. That's a good default. Um, export it. I'm pretty sure it's going to make me watch a long ad too. Now, our move pick is almost identical. Okay, it's saved to my gallery, and I could, if the size is small enough, I could email it to myself as well. So let's let's see what it says. Made with motion leap. If it doesn't send, it's because you've made your loop 30 seconds and the file size is too big. Okay, that's how you do it.